In this video, I'm going to price a put option on a four-step binomial tree. This should give you a sense of how to extend binomial trees to more steps, but we'll start with four. This is going to be a put option. The strike of the put option is 100. The maturity of the option is half a year. The market, the underlying asset for this option is a stock. It's a non-dividend paying stock. The price of the stock is 102 and the risk-free interest rates are 2% continuously compounded. First, let's discuss the strategy and then we'll work through the tree. First, we choose N, the number of steps in the tree. That's going to be four in our case. The time step is going to be delta T. That's the maturity of the option divided by N. We have to choose U and D. We have to find the probability E to the R delta T minus D over U minus D. We have to build the tree. The first node in the tree starts at the stock price. The next node, the next slice has two nodes, one at S times U and one at S times D. The next has three nodes, S times U squared, S times U times D, and S times D squared, and so on. Once the tree has been built, the right-hand side of the tree represents the maturity of the option. We can value the option at this each node because we know the stock price, and we can use the formula maximum of ST minus K and zero for a call option, and maximum of K minus ST and zero for a put option. We now work backwards through the tree from right to left. This is known as backwards induction. Using the formula we've used before, D, the value of the option, equals P times the value of DU, which is the value of the option if you go up, plus one minus P times DD, which is the value of the option if you go down. All of that discounted E to the minus R delta T. We work through the tree from right to left, evaluating one slice at a time, and eventually we get back to the beginning of the tree, and the value in the first node of the tree is the value of the option. So let's go through steps one through four. We've chosen how many time steps? It will be four. The time step, therefore, is delta T is half a year divided by four, or 0.125. We are going to choose U equals 1.0733, and D equals 0.9317, which means P is equal to 50%. Now, it's not exactly 50%, but it's fairly close. So now we need to build the tree. The tree starts at S, and then the value of the stock if it goes up is S times U. The value of the stock if it goes down is S times D. So that's our next slice. The next slice, if we go up, we go to S times U squared. If we go down from S times U, we go to S times U times D. If we go up from S times D, we also go to S times U times D. And if we go down from S times D, we go to S times D squared. So that's our next slice. And then we carry on from there. And we end up with an S times U to the fourth and so on in that last slice. We've got four steps in this tree and five slices. Now remember, S is 102. U is 1.0733 and D is 0.9317, so we can fill in the actual values of our stock in our tree. Now, the right-hand side of the tree, that last slice represents the maturity of the option. This is a put option with strike 100, so we can use the formula maximum of K minus ST and zero for a put option. Again, if the stock ends up at 135.36, we're not going to exercise, and the put is worthless. Same is true for 117.5 and 102. We will exercise the option if the stock is at 88.54 or 76.86. So we have values there. Now that we're done with the last slice, we're going to work backwards through our tree, where the value in any given slice is P times the value up, plus one minus P times the value down, all discounted E to the minus R delta T. Now, of course, those first two nodes, <clears throat> the value up and the value down are both zero. So those first two nodes end up with zeros. The next one, the value up is zero, but the value down is 11.46. So we have one half times 11.46 times E to the minus 0 0.02 times 0 0.125 or 5.71. The next node is 17.26, and then we can carry on filling in our tree from right to left until we get to the beginning. And of course, that first value, 4.27,
is the value of the put option.